So I'm having a chat with Waxworks. How are you? I'm very good. Thanks for having me. That's all right. You're here at Truck Festival. How's uh, your weekend been so far? It's been great. It's been busy, hot, wet at the same time. <laughs> yeah, really good. Seen some great bands. Yeah, it's been great. How was your set? A lot of fun. A lot. Yeah, a lot more people than I thought, which is really flattering. A lot more people were loving it and singing along, getting involved. Yeah, it was, it was amazing. Yeah. Good. And they must have enjoyed your uh, debut EP then. That's why they come and see you. Yeah, I, I guess, hopefully. <laughs> I mean, yeah, a lot of the newer songs people knew words to as well, which is mad because, I don't know, I, I, it never gets old when I see yeah. people miming along and just, I'm just like, sick. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thank you so much, yeah. Why not? Yeah, so, t so tell us a bit about the EP you released earlier this year. Yeah, so the first single, Why You So Sad, came out in January. That was kind of a, I remember I was in the studio with Nick, my good buddy, ex-Kaiser Chief Nick, and... I just wanted a song that was like about kind of is this the right word introspective of myself I think that might be that might be too long for me but I don't know if that's the right <laughs> word but um <laughs> so it's like looking at myself thinking you've got so much more to be grateful for so that was kind of the story behind that one and then yeah it was a single couple months at a time and then it came out May 20th I think that might be wrong Sounds right to me. Around there. Sounds right to Friday me. Friday in May. <laughs> and yeah, it's been great. Yeah, ever since the reception's been sweet, actually. Yeah, I'm really happy with it. Good, good. And you must have been writing a hell of a lot kind of during the pandemic and everything, considering we were, we were all at home. How much music have you kind of got to work with going forward? Well, I kind of... Um, yeah, in the pandemic, I wrote a lot because it's what I love doing and I started this kind of thing uh, during the pandemic properly. Um... Yeah, I've got a few ideas. I'm always on my laptop doing something. So, yeah, I've always got n little ideas or lyrics in there. Yeah. Yeah. Whether they end up being great or good or average, I don't know. But, <laughs> we'll yeah, I'm see. always doing something. <laughs> good. <laughs> um, and you're obviously here at Truck Festival this weekend. You've got more to come, more festivals, more shows. Where can people see you after this weekend? So, oh, I'm terrible at plugging. <laughs> uh, why not next week? Saturday, again, I think at about one, half one. You'll have to double check uh, we're also playing uh, 110 above in Leicestershire uh, on the Friday and Boardmasters which will be sweet on the Sunday mm -hmm. Sunday the 14th of August I think so yeah good good busy times ahead then and, Very busy and obviously time, you'll yeah. want to be doing touring as well coming towards the end of this year where, yeah. where are we at with dates for, for later uh, this year I haven't got any uh, confirmed yet but some things are in the in the talks in the works so uh -huh. yeah I'm sure I'll be gigging someplace do you think you'll be doing some headline stuff or, or is it possibly, going to be looking I support as well I want to do a some kind of like headline lead show possibly early next year or the end of this year so yeah just keep looking out on my socials yeah. at Waxworks Noise yeah. for that nice that, that wasn't a bad gotta plug. do it yeah. um, and looking towards next year as well what are you hoping next year is going to be do you think it's going to be writing releasing that side of things or touring or a bit of everything a bit of everything but mostly I want to focus on writing and getting a good big catalogue of stuff uh -huh. that I'm really proud of to put together in some form of release so yeah I will be gigging and doing a few festivals but I'm also thinking I want to knuckle down and get some tracks done yeah great stuff and uh, being a, a, a new artist into the into the music scene now what what was it that made you go from I enjoy writing music to I'm going to do this properly um I don't know actually that's a tough question I kind of uh, just I was in another an older band before and Waxworks kind of started just from demos that weren't the right sound for them so I had a load of them on my, com on my computer and I just decided I'll put them on SoundCloud then I gradually built up the courage to put them on Spotify <laughs> and then yeah people took notice a little bit I guess yeah. and liked the songs and that's kind of it really yeah. and you thought I better, I better concentrate now and do it do it properly yeah no, oh damn now I've actually got to put work in yeah. <laughs> but it's paying off yeah. it's paying off so far so far thankfully yeah and you must have a bucket list of things that you want to want to achieve so if you had to pick one thing that you absolutely have to achieve what what would that one thing be uh, 100% it's always been headlining the Radio 1 stage at Reading and Leeds I don't know why because I went to Reading in like 2018 and I love like I love tents. I mean, obviously, headline the main stage would be sick. Yeah, but I love tents for some reason. I love uh -huh. the the sound. It's so loud, 
And yeah, I love that stage. I saw Bring the Horizons secret set there, and yeah. it was insane. And ever since I was like, that's what I want to do one day. But yeah. Nice. Excellent. Well, Adam, it's been a pleasure Thank having so a chat with you. Great to have a chat with you. Thank you very much. Yeah, Cheers. No worries.